it's so much easier to plan your episodes when you see them in front of you and can just drag and drop them between days. Let's create a podcast schedule template that will help you to quickly organize your upcoming interviews. Here's how to plan your podcast episodes. I have my podcast schedule template on Trello. You can go to trello.com and create a free account. When you log in, you will see this dashboard. I already have some boards here, but you will need to create the new one. Click Create New Board, then type the name of your board. I prefer to title that like Podcast Episodes 2019-2020, for each year, the separate board. I will add new here because I already have podcast episodes 2020 board. And when you're done with your title, you can select an image and then create board. Here's how it looks like inside. On the right side, you have a menu where you can change your background, you can change some settings. Here, what we need to do, we need to activate a new power up. We need to activate the calendars. So we click Add Power Up. And I have a list of all power ups that Trello has. I need a calendar. I can just search here. You can add one power up for free, and this is what we need. I will add the calendar, and here we got this uh, special button here. I will close the power ups menu, and I will close this menu. I'll show you how we will work with the calendar later. Now, what we have here, we have our title of the board, and below we have add a list button. I will click it and I will create a list by the name of the month. For example, the first one is going to be January. Then after I create it, you see I got the new list and then I can have many cards here. Then I will add a new list and I'll call it February. And then I will add March, April, and etc. All 12 months here. That way it will be easier for me to manage all the podcast episodes and see which month has which episodes. So here, let's say for January, I want to add a card. The title of a card will be the name of the episodes which I plan to already schedule and publish. For example, how to grow your personal brand. Once I type a title, I click Add Card. And here I got the new card. This is my episode. I can add more cards and title them with the name of the episodes. Here I will leave just this one and I'll show you what we're going to do next. After you created your card with the name of the episode. Click Edit and click Change Due Date. Here you want to select the date when the episode is going to be published if you already know this date. If you don't know this date, I usually pick something on Thursday or Friday. Pick the day and then I click Save. So this is just the approximate date somewhere in the future. I need this date because I want this to show up on the calendar. You see, now we got the title of the episode and we got the date. This is a random date. Later, when you will know when this episode will go live, you will put it on the specific day when the episode is going to be published. Now look, I can open my calendar the power up which we added before and here on may 15th i have my episode now i can easily drag and drop it and put them 
on any date, on any day which I want. And I can bring them back. And look, when I change the, the place, the date of the episode, if I click on the board, the due date is changed. And this is what we need. That will be easier for you to manage everything. Now, I will close the calendar and I can add more cards here. But I'll show you what I already have because I already have created dashboards and created episodes. If you look for the podcast ideas, check this video where I share the tips on how I do that. I'll get back to my main boards and I'll open the podcast episodes planned for 2020. You see, for each month, I have the episodes and I prefer to add the number of the episode. I write the name of a guest and then I write the title of the episode, which I'm going to publish. This is the title which already finalized and I already know that this is going to be the exact title which I'm going to use for the podcast episode. Then each of them has a due date. It's easier for me to know at what date the episode was published. So if I open the calendar, you will see that the whole episodes are scheduled for Monday because I publish all the episodes on Monday. And whatever date is here, it will be marked as red as a due date on the calendar. If I close it, the red means that the due date has passed. Also for organizing them, just to visually see how they were published by the order, uh, I set the order by the due dates. For example, here we have everything in order, but here I can click on the settings and then sort by and select due date. You see, all the episodes were filtered by the due date. Now, here are my upcoming episodes. I can get back to calendar. And let's say I have two episodes scheduled and put into the scheduling system. They are already scheduled for publishing. And this episode I recorded, but I did not put it into my leaps in account from where the episode will go to all other platforms so i would keep it just somewhere on the site because i don't know maybe i will plan more episodes and i will want to just change the order because it's so easy just simply switch the places switch the dates and you know when you look at your episodes you know which one is going to be next you know you can actually see it and Plan your episodes in advance by the category, the genre you want to share, or you can even plan your episodes uh, for the specific events or holidays. Now here, I'll put them back. And once I prepare everything for this episode, I move it to Monday, to the day when I usually publish my episode. And I know that this episode is recorded. So I'll give it a number already. I know that this episode is going to be here and it's going to be the episode number 159. And if you want to do even more visual, this is a cool thing that you can use. You can add labels here. You can add some more noise for the episodes if you have. You can add descriptions, uh, put some pictures, put some extra notes, the outlines if you want and you can save it. But also I like to add labels if I want to have something specific. And if I click labels, I have many colors which I can choose from and I can name them. For example, this is going to be a episode with one ad. And I will save it. You see now my label got a special text and I can add this label to the podcast episode. I can close it and close this big menu 
And here on the main calendar, I see my green label. I can even click on it and see what it means. Episode with one ad. And I can just make it small. It helps you to organize your episodes visually to mark them with the specific attributes and to really know when and which episode is going to be published soon. By the way, how many times per week do you post or plan to post your interviews? Leave me a comment below. Now also from the calendar I can add new episodes. I can just click on the date and I can add the card right here. For example, the next episode is going to be my episode where I'm going to share with you why you should start a podcast. And this is what I'm going to add as a title. Here I can also select the list where I want to edit. Let's say I want to publish it in June, so I will add it to the June list. I already created this list. And then I click Add. And you see, here I got my podcast episode, uh, the title of the podcast episode, and the due date, the date where I created that. And I can easily move it to June 1st. This is the date when I plan to publish it. And I can label here if I record it and schedule it, and I know that everything is done here, I will give it a, a number. You can also easily move your episode between different lists here and also change the order as you want. You can organize your episodes by the years or seasons. So here I organize them by the year and then I name all my lists as the month. You can also create it as the season, season 1, season 2, season 3 and organize it whatever you want whether it's by the month which you're going to produce or just create one list and put all the episodes in one column, create many cards over there. Now, to fill your schedule with the interviews, you need to find good guests. This video will give you plenty of ideas on how to find interesting people, including well-known names. 